Hey everybody, it's Son of Peace and I am Terry Crews. This is where it comes down to this, the final two teams in a Stanley Cup final. This is where the matchup ends here for NHL Season 3 of EA Sports. It's the Hurricanes battle against the Canucks. It's all coming up next after this. Hey folks, you finally made it to the end of the bracket, which season three coming down to the end of this matchup. This time, the postseason comes in as we're ready to have a special presentation of the Stanley Cup Final. It's between the last two teams between the Eastern Conference champion against the Western Conference champion. And for the moment of all the truth, this is where it's about to happen now. The Hurricanes are ready to bring things on. They beat against the Canadian team of the Toronto Maple Leafs. And they're ready to approach to the finals. And the other side, Canucks haven't made their way to the finals and no Canadian team has ever made it to the finals before. But this time, this is where it starts here for the franchise history of the NHL postseason on EA Sports. This might be what their take is. They beat the Dallas Stars, but now, the last opponent is where the road to a victory win. It's going to be a hard one to take. And for the moment now, this is where the last two comes in. Carolina Hurricanes face on against the over team of Vancouver Canucks. Now it's time for viewing the Superstar X Factor players, starting with the Hurricanes. On the first side we have as a cross here is the Bacchanaba. Third eye ability with the Burham Central Passer has made up one with an intense way to make this one play out on their own. He does it for more than that effort, but he can play for it on how well he will take. The better effort is the third eye passer. Then we have his Jacob Slavin. On a great rushing defense, calls him for a shutdown. Has to play for more of him and as an occasional has to play it for on his better behave that he does for more. This makes him smash hit, gotta take all what he does. And for Andrei Svechikov, skilled up challenge makes a lacrosse move an easier way to have that one up. If he does have a tip, he does have more to take from our acceptable passes and sometimes of a great hat trick releases on a wicked twist around here for a skill up ability. Sometimes he can go right behind the net, sometimes he can go right toward the side with the own rebound and then puck is flying out and trying to pick up a quick timer effort to hit that puck in with a deflector. There might be another way to have that one swinging him by. And now let's meet your Canadian team of the Western Conference champion of the Vancouver Canucks. Starting off here we have is Elias Pettersson. His snipe of his own has to be the settling on his goal on his effort. He might be taking it in here, but let's find out what he does. Ben Quinn Hughes has made his elite edges on his agility directional changes. The same with the brothers that played it before between uh, Luke and Jack. The name has to be for Quinn to, get, to grab all that he has. There might be a change of effort, but the chance is play it in big. And finally is Thatcher Demko. The light work has bring all the effort with his elite wrist shot saves. And this better takeoff effort is all bringing on. And that should do here for the Superstar Factor lineups. And we are ready to bring things on in for the first game. First game stop, Erdos games 1 and 2. We'll be at Rogers Arena. Then game 3 and 4 at the PNC Arena. Commentary stepping by. As right now I have his me phone, he's along with Roy Cruz. The third commentary along with that. I have it across here to give that one a good old welcome to have it all. Silver Spoon and the center ice will be all determining the effort as Finn will be in center ice. We'll see you all later for the post game show after this. Enjoy the first game of the Stanley Cup Final on EA Sports. Canes, Canucks, ready to go. Hey everybody, it's me, Fo. It's Stanley Cup Final time, and tonight's matchup is in between the Canadian and the American teams. Canucks and Kings ready to go. First game happening at Vancouver. I'm here with my broadcast partner, along with Roy Cruz 
and the cross in the center ice of course we have the stand and the third commentary of the Prairie Silver Spoon. This is Stanley Cup Final on EA Sports. Ready to go. On the cross of the pass right over again to Terrell Now the start range will put it in for Burns. He will give over to Slavin. Has it now over to Burns. Takes it away from him. And now Slavin has it across now. Going to the left of the side of the zone. Loses the puck effort. Quinn Hughes with the puck in control. And Sebastianago will have that one take it over. And here's Burns. He will have that one racing it by. The deep passing over. Here's a chance. Stretch it Chance to play. And this one's stopped by Tempo, and the hell needs to signal on interference for Svechikov. Oh, boy. I don't think that's not going to change things happening again. You know, that problem is it's not going to do really well. That's what Svechikov's problem. It's made to take it over. Got a great way to have it all. Power play starting on for the Canucks. This will be the first power play for the Stanley Cup Final in the first. Another wheel will put it in for their own games. He will fire that one out and Stahl will send it out again. Looks it over and Jarvis has got that puck in. The hook is broken up as Garland will have it spring across. Right toward in the left wing. He will have it in here trying to make a move to Miller. Chance to play. Save on a play by Kochikov. Garland with the rebound. Over with the takeover effort. This one stopped by Kochikov. Stop the play about with 18.23 to go in the first. Officers are ready to drop the puck and we're back underway in Vancouver. As the win will play in for Carolina, he will have the pass again to Drury. He will send it out of here into the Canucks zone. No icing defend on here as McKay will have it. A chance now for McKay. And it's Pesky with the puck steal. Drury will send that puck out of here. Vancouver back the air away as Aronik will have it again to Garland. Here's Garland with a chance and take. And the rebound puts up. Coach Cup with a save. Chatfield the air away. Now playing the pass over. Lost that one as Aronik will have it again to Garland. Garland with a chance effort. Looks it play for Miller. Off and a stick and it goes right toward the wall. Under 30 seconds in the first period for the power play of the Canucks. Suter on a passive play in front. Save on a goal by Kochakov. Now that was really not that toughest in the game is that was not how it's happened. That's what happened to Kochakov. He was trying to like pick it up. So Kochakov's ready to get back out there. The power play is over for the Canucks. Great chance to prepare to play, but it's stopped by the goaltender on its way. You know, it doesn't really happen to most of it at the same time. I really got to say now that this needs to be in the closing range of bound. That needs to be out there for a one takeover. They have it. Not a chance ever. I know they were doing a little hard on that, but that needs to be a little changing effort to get through. Here's Natchez for the backhand shot. Safe by Demko. That will be his first save of the night in the finals. Here's McKay at right 16 15 to go. Now Slavin will have it over. The pass finding Burns. Burns give the pass over to Terravine. Shoots! Saved by Demko. Demko's going to hold that over under 16 minutes in the first. Now they're ready for the next faceoff. No score between Canadian team and American team. And Luger wins the faceoff. Here's Freeman with a chance over now by Andy Garcipi. Cole's got that puck in. The inbound right towards turn away. Looks in front, shot, stopped by Kochikov. Burns gives again to Jarvis. Jarvis is slowing down now. Giving no warning steer as he bounces from his butt. Get back to Slavin. And one down hit. Jarvis picks it up. Here's a cut inbound and it's the Garcipi with the puck steal. Dumps the puck out of the zone as Slavin will have it cleared out. Carolina back the early on the attack as Jarvis will now have to pass over to Stahl. Stahl will fire that with a round of net. Marduk's got it across. And stolen by Laferty. Laferty with a chance effort to play. And stolen by Sketchy. 
In a chance now to come Kennedy. Spinning across, big K in the corner. That's going to hurt with more defensive tackles. You know this one doesn't really meant to say what they don't do well. They just play you what they can't do. That's what they are trying to let the Canadian team get right back into hustle. This doesn't mean to anyone who has the trust on that to give that one a good look. Lock every shot. Off the glove on Pendum Cup. Now the pass to Skitchy. Skitchy shot. No deflection given in as Fast gets back to Pesky. Pesky will now try to get back to Fax. Fast gets again to Skitchy and now he tries to roll over again to Pesky. Fires a shot. Walker step right to go. Back to the Curry with 13.45 to go in the post. Loses that one as fast. We'll have it. Well, Ferdy back the airway. Here's the best chance to Blue Guard. And a save by Kochika. He's going to hold it on with only 13.32 to go in the course. Teams are set, ready for the faceoff. Snow score given here, whereas we're nearing the back half of the period. And the wind puts it in for Akko. But Wonick's got that puck in. Taken along by Besser. He gives it back to Dudes. Quick over to Miller. Svechika trying to pick up a puck steal. Step in a big hit on the play inbound and back to Akko. But we're now finding Wolof. Wolof pass to Teravainen. Teravainen with a cut kind of short save by Tempo. Under 13 to go in the first period. Trying to make another new switch. Still a lot of time up in the period. No score given. Miller win the face off. As a warning will now have it again to Hughes. Hughes has it again to Mikheyev. Spins his way around. And now finds it over to Miller. Miller pass to Besser. Besser on the chance play. Block the shot as Sheffield will have it out. They don't really do much out there. That's what they can't just really play like that. All they need to do is they need to get this one stable out. If they don't play it right, they gotta have a problem with that playing it in there. He is true, he might throw it in the better way. Natchez lost that one, as Lindholm will have in the airway back to Hughes. Hughes on a chance, then they bounce by Nigarle. Here's Hughes, save on a Kochikov. And he finds Drewy. Drewy with a chance effort. A play and bounce, sack by Demko. Tries to wibble it out. Slap it. Shoots. I don't think nobody has able to take that one out there. A lot of chance that for a for the Kings to pick it up. The puck leaves his own, and he will now try to find it over again as Burns will now find again to Drew. The deep pass finds Jarvis. Jarvis all along, and this one gets ripped up. Brings it out of here as Adorlin will tap it out. Garland right toward in the corner. Here's Burns. He was now into the, and on the line. Now goes Oliver. Pass broken up. And the penalty's been called on Canucks with a slash. And the icing has been picked up. Oh, not so good out there. That's what happened to Dilson. This one is now picking up the pressure in there. That causes the problem to make the slash out of him. You didn't even see that play. That's what happens now, and you need to know that you can't be slashing it out of the players in the finals. If that happens now, you're going to get whipped off. First power play chance coming up for the Carolina River Kings when you're in a midway mark of the period in first. As the win will put it up for Pedersen. The door off now by Andy Bowers to beat. Spins across. Burns takes a puck steal. And Otto will now have it out. Huge layers of being Pedersen with a chance on a shot. This one goes back to Svechikov. Doom it over to Jarvis. Now their team is in the connect zone. He will now try to find a pass to Otto. Off the goal post. This one stays out. This is not turning what they're expecting to do, but they did. They don't really like that after. Don't take it on when you judge on. Svechikov finds again to Jarvis. Jarvis, the pass to Burns, shot. No team it over here as a Rodin will now have it out. Keep the puck alive is Svechikov. Puck leaves his own. And Sebastian Otto will now have his chance effort. Just down to a minute in the first for the power play. And now it's back to Bunny. Give back to Svechikov. Svechikov gives to Jarvis. Fires it. Save on the play here by Dipka. The guy of speed will have that one carried out. 
Spencer Cock will now have it again to try to give a good look to Burns. Burns gives the pass to Jarvis. Jarvis finds Drewy. Cole takes that one out of here. And now it's Goodholm with the chance. On the play and effort in there, right towards the left wing. Pass broken up. Quick save on the play here by Spent Kochikov. And now he will have it again to Spectacom. Looks like a Chilson's ready to get out there. Looks over. Drury shot. Saved by Demko. Oh, what a great chance for the Hurricanes to pick it up as Demko stops that one. Officials are ready to bring things on with just down to one second to finish. And it'll be the end of the power play for carrying Kings on a play. With a win, chance is locked up. And now it goes for the even strength. You know how that happened? They don't really play what they do for. Hurricanes are trying to battle that one out of here. They don't really say enough, you can't play the effort that well. They have no one more choice when they do. But how can they do it? They need to be playing it like they did. All that happens now, they need to make this one clear moment to get that one stepped out. They don't play one well job team, but they need to do some, a little bit of a slip off to keep a take. Will never get for the Hurricanes, he will now have it again to Drury. Eight minutes left to remain in the first. Keep the pass over down to Nozan. Nozan went down, no penalty regained on Vancouver. Skaji with the puck, now finds it again in Aegis. Stall, chance for a shot, saved by Demko. 7.43 left to go in the first period. Still a lot of tightness in the game here, no score given. Now they're ready for the next face-off, as this one coming down to a five-minute mark. And a win for JT Miller. Friedman will now have another chance effort. He now has to pass over to Miller. Miller finds Besser. Besser passes over. Fires it shot. Off and away. Big block and a chance effort. Puck clears out of the zone. You know, I don't see how this is happening right now. That would have to be a, a big hit. He got a little bit of an ouch moment out there. That's going to be a lot a little harder to pick up play to keep it in. Here's Besser, now finds again to Mikheyev. And it's saved again on the back. Orlov back again to Jarvis with under seven minutes. Oh, what a rumble down makeover. That's a big smash collision out there. Oh, you can hear that now? I've always seen what's going in. I've always seen what happens now, but they were really expecting how this is going to keep it going in there. That's what they were just doing. Let that one fire it out. Let it get out of here at a clean angle. And Ago, the pass to Terabyte. Lost the effort with the puck and it goes right toward the wall. Keeping the play alive for Terabyte. He has it over to Ago. Open look. Find the Chatfield. Chatfield. Can't have an open man on there as Terabyte has the game to Orlov. Orlov now finds Ago. Ago shot. That one's off in the puck shit. Special cup for the backhand there as Aroni will not have a piece in it. And Hughes will now have it again to Garland. Garland play, broken up by Ajo. The rebound will pick it up as Kenny Haynes are back the airway. Hughes Fetchikov, chance in front, swore to stop by Demko. He will hold that going here in the five minute mark. But the better play in this angle, Sebastian Ajo is one of the third liability. Had to be doing it for a longer take than having a hole. Elias Pedersen is one of a snipe of his own. The long range has that shot. The better effort is to have the message in there for the first case to have a better response and effort. The snipe is a long way. I'll put it up with us here in between of Sebastian Apple and Elias Pedersen. Let's hope there is a take in between of it to have the range on. Back to you. And Pedersen with a buck steal. Racing it down right towards the slot with a shot chance. What a save! Don't you know, we'll tell, cover the puck up with under five minutes left. You know, that's all it's easier to do. That's what Coach Adolfo is doing. really doing it to keep it in there. Now the chance at play. Under five minutes, no score in a game between Carolina or Vancouver. As the win will play up for Cock Enemy, he finds Nozick. Nozick right towards in there, deciding to not get hit as he will fling that out. Fast! Takes that puck out of there, and this one goes right again to Burns. Pass broken up. Sears got it across with a step over and deny that one play. And he is fast. Fast will slow it down here. He now finds it off to Cock Enemy. 
Broken up like a warning. Genutsu back in the attacking zone. Here's the Kings. Slab it. Oh, nice hitter on play and attack tackle range. This one goes right to the center of ice. Now finds Slavic. Fires it. Saved by Demko. Demko's going to hold it with only 3.49 to go in the first period. Now they're ready to do more. Canes and the Canucks. Tight, tight grab matchups here, but they look like they wanted to do more. Lindholm wins the faceoff. He is Freeman. He will have it over the other way. Now the deep pass to Cole. Cole chance. Cole save. Back to Skidgy, and this one goes right again to Burton. I just saw that Snipe is just going to keep that one coming back. They don't really say it up now. How could he play it like that? There's no other chance in effort in there doing this for more. He's playing it like he did. Skidgy shot. No deflection given in for the stall. And now it's Skidgy again to Jarvis. Jarvis finds it Skidgy. Skidgy, chance of play. Come save by Demko. Under three minutes remaining in the first period, we will try to handle thing over and get right back in the other way. Now to ready for the next face-off. Face-off win for the Kings. Fires it. Block the shot again on the blocker. But it. Chance in front. McKayev with the puck seal. McKayev rolls it again to Cole. Cole's on a chance finding Bill. Miller, right toward in the corner of the wing, finds Cole, Cole, Jason Miller, and a shot, big gun, stop again to Mike Kuchikov. This needs to be a little bit of a hard to keep pressure key. We're not really uh, just expecting now, but this needs to be a little changing over that they got to do. They just with a shot, little pet step here by a good call range for Dipko. And Olaf now has to begin to pesky. Fires it, deny that one. Besser now finding the cave. Good stick left here for the Canes, and he will clear that puck out. The Canucks are back in the offense as Cole will now have a chance over. Orla brings their team to an offside. Now the teams are ready to go. Nearing now the final minute in a 90-second brick mark. No score. Zdorov wins that face off and he'll now have it over in the wing. Ago trying to stable it out. A chance at play. Saved by Kuchikov. Ago. Oh, that's going to be badly aimed already. Well, this has happened with the last game. That had to be what they are doing it for. That had to be what Jason Robinson trying to like let them sail out of there. The formula was not really what they are expecting it for. And a big save puts up by to go. That's what they're all doing and now. You have to watch out for what the Canes are doing. They're just playing dirty. Canes are playing dirty. There's no question. They are under a minute right now in the first. No score in play. Patterson wins the faceoff. And Schulson will have it another way on his own head. Patterson back the air right now, finally again the suitor. Here's a chance now, here they come. No chance on a power play effort for two as the Canucks have been wiped out. Here's a chance to play with another takeover shot. And it's off the skater of the inbound and there's a penalty on Juleson. That's gonna be on the Canucks, second penalty in the box. Oh, that's not gonna change out there. That's what they don't deserve it out there. Don't play like they judge us. Power play is on for the Carolina Hurricanes. They will have a chance effort before the time period comes to expire, before they wrap it up for the first and get ready for the second period. Besser wins the face off, as the Rory will now have it over, as Spencer Trump will now have it again to Bunny. Bunny, chance at play to Skedgy. Loses the effort, and Bluger, and a penalty racing on Carolina. It's now a four on four. After he went down, and it's Skedgy. He's in the penalty box. Uh-oh, don't play like you did mean it there, Skedgy. Because that is a big problem. Don't play for us. 
They're both now four on four in a range. Just 4.1 seconds, and then the power play will come in for the Canucks. And away from Miller, we're going in for a chance, block the shot, and that will end the first period. Tight game between. What a great takedown effort. A lot of save in between Kochikov and Demko. We'll get in the second period when we come back after this. Welcome back to the Stanley Cup Final on EA Sports, ready for the second period. And we're off to start things over, and we are ready to see what goes in for the next one to bring on period two. All right, guys, I have a little recap in between. Let's see, let's see what your thoughts are. They've been playing it for so long for the reasons, and this is what they're they've been keeping it going in there. Sometimes how that happens to Carolina here, we're just really like racing it up the deck. How speed that is, not a good choice question it is. Well, the Denko team have really have been like pressing it. He's over now. They're like attack, attack, attack. We've got to get back in the work. They need to do some a little bit more timing effort if they have to try to pick it up. If they don't play well, and that's the problem that they don't do, they've got to play it like they mean it. Buck stays alive as he now finds it to Burns. He gives it again to Slam it. Slam it. Broke it up, and Miller will have it the air away. Down to 40 seconds in the four on four attack. And Burns is on the outside. Shoots it. Often saved by Dipko. Svechikov, chance in play. With a rebound, it's been knocked out. Miller will have another way to get back into work. In the cane zone, looking again at Harrison. Saved from the play by Kochikov. And here's Ago right toward the airway. Down to eight seconds for the four and four. The last chance after for the Canucks. Time's coming down to the end. Who's the effort? And that ends the power play for the Canucks. Back to even strength. That's a little bit of a little hard out there, but this may not be what they're doing it for. All I can say now is just how it slashed up. That must have been on Juleson first, but then the outside must have happened again. That was pretty sketchy. That must have been, been all over the place. They're not just letting that one get in the way. Here's Natchez with the puck, and now he has it again to Pesky. Fowling along across the board, he will now try to swivel it up again. He finds it over to Natchez. He has an open look to Drury, and now this will get back to Bunny. Bunny now over in the court. Look at play effort with a back, and he scores! Michael Bunny has his first goal in the finals against the Canucks. Well, this is what they don't really expect now. Michael Bunny got a great backhand to try to reach it out. But you see that play, how this has happened because of Michael Bunny, he was making it in there, but the contact look, that had to be a little bit of a race in between to get right back in his own. And he had to just call for the backup immediately, but this is what the goal had made that one in there to beat Demko over. Canes are up in the lead, 1-0 over the Canucks. A little bit of a start race out there after a disappointment effort here for Game 7 for the Dallas Stars. But this time they're looking to see what they can get. Now that's what you need to do here for Skitchy, and Bunny has a lot of one take to get that one over to another. What happens now? Well, they need to do some a little bit more skepsis to get right to it. Pesci's got that puck. Now has it again to Martin Hook. The, can the Canes are back into the Canucks zone. Saul right behind the net. Has the pass to Jarvis, and it's off the Steiner, and it goes right out of the zone. Carolina back the airway, he finds it over to Stahl. Stahl, unable to squeeze it in here, and Stahl trying to get out of it. And this one stops it and blocked it up, and Kochikov will cover that up. Under 17 minutes in the second, one that face the score. Now they're ready for the next face off. 1FA, Carolina. Now the win will put it in. It's Friedman will have it in. Pass up for Spetchikov with the puck. Take away. Here comes the chance for Spetchikov inside. What a save. And a stop by Kov Demko. Unbelievable. Oh no, it's going to tip in. That's Spetchikov with the goal. This one had more room to get in there. I have no problem what happened now because the Demko made a great save but this one has turned to be a problem. 
That must have been broken. He found an extra room, and this is what they just can't get in through it. That's why it's fit to cover that one with the great goal. He put it in. The win will put it in for Sebastian Mago. He will now have it over to Terravine. Terravine with a smack out. Right around the net. And Spetsikov will kick the puck out of here as Ago will have it the air away. Now with a chance ever to tear in. Pat saved by Demko. And this one rolls back the air away. Has the pass to tear in. Tear in. Chase for Spetsikov scores! Two goals in a game for Spetsikov. Fire that one in and they had it all. You know what happened to Svechikov, this is what they have to be doing. They've got the Terravainen, this one's giving it over, and that one just made that one look good. You know, Terravainen has been making it over, and the very is, and this is what he's been doing. Keeping it for Svechikov, that got one gotten fired in range, and this one is putting it right on a better shot angle. That's what happens when you inspiring to put back in there. Carolina, stand up by 3-0 over Vancouver. Now to win, Carolina. As it now over to Natchez. He fires that puck around the net. And Bunny will have it again. The pass over now by Burns. Bird shot. Misses wide. Yuri now finds it over to Slavic. And Burns will have another chance at Burns. Give to Natchez. Natchez. Chance for a good deflection. Stop by Tempo. Under 15 minutes in a second. 3 0 score. And uh, now this one coming down to the back half. It's still a 3-0 game. Now to win for Carolina. Skedgy now finds Peshki. As he loses that one as Natchez will have in the airway finding Skedgy. Looks over to Natchez and Peshki shot. Off the blocker made by Zinko. Loses to McKay. The Hurricanes are back in the offense, finding Bunting. And a pass. Misses wide, and the icing will be on Carolina. 14 17 to go in the second period. It will slow it down a bit to get in another extra room. Face off lead puts up for the Carolina Hurricanes. Miller's got it this time. This one broken up by Drury. And here's Natchez. Looks it over to Bunny. Bunny for two and scores! Wow! Bunny has two of his goal. Made that one in. Slap shot? Good take? That's what Bunny's done! I love that hustle for Bunny. And this is what happens now. He just made that one with a rickety shay on this one. That must have had that one in the ricochet in the net. That must have get that goal close and then in towards it. Got a right time. Carolina is setting it up the lead. A 4 0 game. Now the win will put it in for Carol for the Vancouver Canucks. Medea finds Miller. And stopped by Kochika. Oh, almost made it in there, but this one stayed up. You know, this one wasn't easy at all. I say this is when it's going to be a tight run thing. Besser, block that shot for Morgana. Now finds Skiji. Skiji, broken up the play, and here's Miller. Miller, chance in front, scores! JT Miller has the team up in the lead. And this one cuts down by four to three. Now that really explains it when the JT Miller has able to get it done done. Don't need to be in there for a wide take. The better reason is, don't run to another one. Not at goal. The connection on the board. 4-1 game with 13 26 to go. And the win will play it in, and now it's still uh, this low ball clear to puck out. Now finding Morgan. Looks again to Stall. Stall finding Burns, and he now finds it over to Slavic. Slavin gets to Saul. Salt shot. Block the shot. Jarvis takes it over. Looks over to Slavin. And Suter's got that puck out. 
Burns has got that puck in range. Now finding Marina. Marina got a big kick here as Tara Vinan will have it out. Freeman back to Cole. Cole with a chance effort to play. Gets to Bolander. Bolander move around. Scores! There is two in a row in the second period. One for JT Miller and one for Bolander. Now this is what effort happens right now. The Hollander is able to score a great chance. That will be more effort than around the coach of Brown, and that will make that one a clear look. You see what happens now because of this. We were told him to put in the reaction. And what happened is timing was too soon. That's what Terry Silver is putting in for all the door, and it's Ian Cole. That's a great assist. They're down by two. We haven't been the hit rate market period yet, and there's still a lot of time left. The win will put it in for the Canucks, and now win will have it. Slab it. Now finds a pass over to Svechikov. Takes it over with the pass around to Otto. Otto trying to watch out for Rue. And now finds it again to Burns again to slap it. Sleeman now has it over, now finding Burns. Here's Sleeman with a backhand, blocked up by Garland. Rebounded it, Slavin watching the team get out of the zone, and Burns will have it in. Burns on his way down, big hand, what take over with Hughes. Hughes is not really responding it out there, but that's what he has been playing it for. Consequences, not what they're expecting to. I'm not going to show you that if you do it again. Here's got Kennedy with a shot, saved by Dimko. 11-19 to go in the second period as we're nearing down the back half of the second. Now we're ready to do the one again. 4-2, Carolina up by two. Face-off lead for the Kings. And here's Mikheyev. Look at his chance. I'm in rush. Save. Oh, what a chance effort to have that one going down by one. But that stopped it again. Oh, boy. That was a little bit too close out there. I've never seen what's going to happen like that. All big effort, not a choice option. And offside is on Carolina. Offices of the game ready to drop the puck. If you're looking forward for a next one to have the vote, be ready because this next voting is going to take on for another look between the two. This will be NHL Season 4 to cast your votes in. And of course, the NBA 2K25 will be Season 9, and you will have another time to make the effort to play it for anything that choose which team you're going for. And one new team we welcome you is the Utah Hockey Club. Now, after Arizona Coyotes, they have never won the Stanley Cup, but only the place postseason has been playing it for, but this was no effort of how they have done. But we're ready to see what the new team is for the Utah Hockey Club. It may not be a goal board yet, but you will hear it soon enough if there is an update for you for the new NHL season. Keep your eyes peeled for that. Matrix. Right toward around the net, and this will get back to Suter. Patterson right toward the right way. And that puck rolled over. Patterson gets again a Hollander shot. Stayed out of his own right on the pole tender. Never save picked up, and he now finds Stahl against the Chatfield. Chance to play to Natchez. That's broken up as Hughes will now have it the other way. And this one gets broken, and I've never seen any hit. Broke it out, and Stahl will have it. And here's Marino. Slows it down. Finds the Stahl, and this one broken up the play. Battling for the loose puck in a chain, and it's Pedersen with the recovery. Poked it out of the zone. Cole will now have it over to get to Freeman to make a new changeoff. Here's Warrenda. The pass over now to Stahl. Needs again to Jarvis, and has it again to Stahl. Shot stopped again by Demko. User doesn't make it save that quickly, but this is what they're doing here to try to lead that up. Burns swings again to Slavin. Slavin shot, scores! Unbelievable moment for Slavin. Got it deep, just like the last game against the Flyers. Uh -huh, that's what they all need to go for. Slavin got it all down there. Now you never see what happens to 
a press the pass around the slab, and this one just really make it wicked. And this is what happens. He has that one open look. After burns, this is what slabbing just made it in there to rock that blue and out. This one is making a little chain that we're with too much congestion of this. This may be a little chance effort to keep it out. Now with the wing, here's three bit. And a pass to Garland. And it's stopped by Kolchikov. As Slavin will now have any airway to pass to Svechikov. They pass it right around the net to Teravainen. Watching Demko out there. If he loses that one again, then this will be a new replacement for D. Smith. And here's Svechikov. He will fire that one out of the range. Carolina still on the way to attack it. And Veshki gives the sketchy shot. Demko gloves it up. Under 7.30 to go in a second period, they'll have another chance effort to keep it in. After speaking of saying it in between the votes of the NHL 25 for new season at season 4, be sure to cast your votes in. This will be open on July 17th and the 18th. All the other teams that have played for previous ones will not count, so make your choice wisely. And with the new episode underway soon, after the tour is over, we will have you on the toy in Anime Insanity 2 and along with the BFDI TPOT episode 12 after the conclusion in Fort Lauderdale. That will be all in here only on Jack and Jellyby and on Animation Epic. If you always stay tuned in, thank you so much for having your accomplishment to make that one with a new rights of the goal to get to one. 10,000 million subscribers, I should bet. So I think that might be another way to keep that one going. I think there is, so let's hope it is. We'd love to have some little party. We'd love to put our kids in the mouth with that way. And definitely, if you really are enjoying this part two, I think there'll be another way to get there. Reshki has it back again to Kalkinami. And Kalkinami will now try to deliver it over right around the net. And knows it with six minutes to go in the second. Besser with the bucket now trying to make his way in. Besser gets stumped down. Over to Miller. Shot saved by Kolchikov. Great chance for JT Miller's team, but it's another huge stop for the goaltender to pick it up. And we have a good contract free agency update. We've got a great ones to do for you, as this one may be a day for now or never. As we have Steven Stemkos joining in for the Nashville Predators with Jonathan Marginso and Scott Wedgwood here for Nashville Predators. Of course, we have some a lot of great updates in between, so we're happy to have that one here. I think the Nashville Predators may be a never new change up anyway, but hopefully for new season, we'll be back home. We'll definitely do so now. After a stop here by Demko with 5.18 left to go in the second. Get ready for the next face-off. Off to another face-off in the gliding situation. Canes are up and ahead by three. Patterson winning the face-off as the door off will have it again to Juleson. Now pass to Hollander. Toward the quarter, find the pass to Suter. And they're a pass stop by Kuchikov. Now find Struri. Drew with a chance after the burning shot, and it's blocked. Chance for three has been directed. Sherlock, shot. That's chopped up as Nietzsche is trying to pick it up. Here's playing. Chance to Drew, and it's stopped by Demko. Joseph right towards the wing. Get the pass to Hollander. How did he stop that one? That's another save by Kochakov. Suter shot. Oh, wow. He's been knocking it in here. You don't have to say for now for Coach of Cop, but that need to be out there for a little change up. A little bit unexpectedly. That need to be a little bit of a hard one to know for to get right to it. The win puts in for Carolina. And this one goes right to Ago. The pass over to Svechikov for two. Let's see by Demko. And Svechikov will have it out, as Horonic will have it again to Hughes. Here they come, right toward the wing. Teravainen with the puck back again to Burns. Burns, the pass, Otto broken up. And Hughes has it again to Besser. 
Give a little right toward away. The pass. Turn wide over the puck seat. Looks it over. Now finding Oppo. Slavin will now try to slow it down again to Oppo. Slavin trying to look for it again, and he now finds a back pass to Slavin. Pushes out of his own, and this one will clear it up. And Miller with the puck seal. Chance and effort for the play for Hughes. Moves around, scores! Squid Hughes had the release thing. Going back down, by two. This is what happens tonight. Quinn Hughes got to deliver it, leave it around, good time. Now I said for Quinn Hughes, if that one was a good goal, and this one was enough for the half that one of a chance and straight. All possible, not enough to have that one in. That one's got a great through on angle. Canes and the Canucks. They have close game down to three minutes to go. Now the win for Lindholm as Hughes will have it. Here's the close hit. Stopped by Kochika. This one stays out and knows it will have it over again to Pesky. Battle on the corner, fighting sketchy and fast will have it over. Fast delivered over to Pesky. And it's off the mask on Pimco. Give the nose in, now fighting Sketchy. Give a pass back to Pesky. Pesky now has it again to Sketchy. Looks it over, Pesky shot, saved by Tipko. Nearing the two minute mark in the second period, getting ready to take the next face off between Carolina and Vancouver. All officials are ready to drop the puck in, ready to go. And to a win, here's Hironek. The pass over to Hughes. Hughes on his way down with a full sprint. Looking for two. Sketchy takes that one away. And he will fire that deep out. On his own end. And icing whistled on Carolina. Carolina wins the next face off. And Sketchy, no penalty beginning on Cam Vancouver. Over to Hollander, stopped by Kochikov. 145 to go in a second. Nearing down the final minute in a second. Looks like they wanted to get more to get it done. Now with the win, here's Chaffee. Pass over to Jarvis. Jarvis chance over to Martin. Shoots it. Glove saved by Dinko. That was a little bit too much. Well, that must have been out there for some reason to get right through it. But this needs to be a quick time down. Now they're ready for another face-off. Five threes to score. Vancouver trailing by two. And Harunik will now have it to get the hobble there. In towards the corner. Fires it. Saved again by the goaltender. Carolina back the airway. Now has it again to Jarvis. Quinn Hughes with the puck release. In corner now, Glock's broken up. Final minute in the second period, and he will have it over again to Martin. Looks again to stall shot. Big save by Denko. Now we'll in again. Hollander with the puck seal. And Suter will have it out. Gives it again to Chaffield with under 40 seconds. Number 10, Turbine. Misses the shot wide. Didn't really see what goes on. And Slavin now has it to get a Burns. McKay with the puck seal. Oh, big chance effort for Slavin to pick it up with the shutdown. Terabini now finds Fetchikov. Bull now finds again a Besser. Besser back to McKay. Here's a chance now to Miller. Save and a play by Kochikov. Doesn't need to be out there. One way chance. What a stop. And that wraps up the second period. 5-3 to score, Quinn Hughes trying to get to tie this game. We'll be right back for the third after this. Hey everybody, it's Son of Beast. I have a little bit of a quick message for all of you. So if you are tuning in for the next reaction video, I have a little bit of a switch back here as I will try to do something else a little bit instant. And also the top 15 for the best in anime insanity invitationals episodes right in between for the two of it. So that will be my prediction to have it all step back in between. This will be a hard conflict on this motion. This one will be in between of a range 
that will be finishing right into the lineup. And if this happens, there might be another chance ever, but I will have to reschedule it long way down to September. So if you really are enjoying this NHL, consider yourself to by hitting the subscribe button. And also, the number channel will be on its way, but I will try to see if the next milestone will hit it up. I will do the gaming on the other side of it, so that's going to be another takeover to have another look out on the moment. Not here, because that will be another new change off of the video to keep your eyes peeled on. So if you want to stay updated, please hit the notification bell, and you'll get tons of notifications of what's going on right in between the two. In the meantime, this might be the next one I will do the next reaction video for. It's all about Criminal Dog, and definitely what to expect for how this happened for Bryson. So, in the meantime, let's get into this, stop waffling around, and finish off the period. Back to you guys. Hey folks, we are back and we're ready for this third period to start. And here we go, third period of the finals. Ready to start and show how it's done. Alright guys, I have a little bit of a take about it in here in between the periods. Let's start with you, Roy, and we'll make it our way across to Silver Spoon. Well, as there's a great way of having a lot of chance of ability, they're playing it really well. Just how the effort is here, just putting a lot of a chance effort to get that one back in there. But there's a lot of takeover for Carolina Hurricanes to try and pick it up. I didn't see one that hasn't really mentioned it before. They really are expecting to play in the past. And scores! Probably going to miss it again! Two goals in the game, and they're back down by one. Well, this is what they're doing! And they're going to make it easier to get that ball done! Now, it's looking for how they're going to make this one a pass over, and this is what the goal have made. They're just raising it up! Trying to keep up going what they did. And this is how that happened when this goal made it through. They are down by one. It is a 5-4 game. Carolina is still up there. But there's another chance that the Canucks may be able to take a tie to change. Or it could change things the other way. In the other direction of the have a chance back. New Sarah Line and he will now have it over again to catch a ball. You know, it's always easy enough. I was really appreciating to that. That playable is just not even turning out what they're expecting it for. Now you can definitely see what it goes in. And how that one stop it down. Drury loses that one effort. And Slavin makes it its way to cross in the pass over to Bunny. Here's Bunny. Now finds it again to Drury. Bunny trying to get that puck back. And here's Rodin now finding Hughes. Gives it over to Mikhail. Here's Mikhail right toward into the corner. The pass over to Tyler. Saving the play by Kochikov. Now that one's not always that easy to take in there. I don't know what's going to keep on coming down. They're already all over it right now. Just got to play it what they did. And Miller has it across. The pass again in front. What a safe play here by the goaltender. Now that was really close enough. Really playing it all the effort it is. It, it wasn't easy to what they're doing. Here's another takeover. Drewy back to Pesky. Pesky gets it over to get a Drewy. Drury went down, and it's Miller with the puck. Here's McKayet, and that one gets right out of it. Besky right over it again. Big hit! One of them a takedown in between. And a chance scores! Bunny with three goals! Now comes to a hat trick, and the hats are on ice. Oh, ho, ho, ho! Bunny just made this one great! How easy is it enough to do it now? You know what? the bunny this one really makes a cut and in between the legs it was really like all around it because when passing Demko he made this one a great goal he had that hat trick coming up and all the hats are on bunny the terrific out there I was saying to Michael Bunny he was really like a uh, super chance ability I was really saying of that wow how can you play like that that is really what they were expecting it for. Uh, they played so well. And then all through how it happened at that time, they were really expecting to play good. And he went down and still gets a game of Husky again to Skidgey. Skidgey to Martin up. Here's for Colson with the buck. Bunnings from the wall. And Skidgey now has it again to Pesky. Pesky. Fighting his way down right toward the over out of the ring. And Jarvis has it over. The pass. Pesky shot. Stop by Dinko. 
16.31 to go in the third period. Getting ready to take the next face-off drop clock right on the way. Tadja Demko is one of the better ones to have a take. That's why his really wish shot has to be a terrific save on his light work. That's why his ability is picking up a great range to have that one sticking in there. I'm hoping that Tadja Demko might take it in, but hopefully we'll have it all keep on coming. Orlov got swiped out, and Orlov will now try to get over to Sebastian Ajo. You know, they're all even everywhere. That's what he always can't really take the mess out of it for, for a, the least amount of poweration. They're going to need to try that one to get stubbled down. And the pass now finds Svechikov. He looks it over. Had a little bump down in traffic. Here's Svechikov. Pass in front! Saved by Demko! Under 16 minutes in the third period. Going to take an X-Face up in with the attack to get back in. Now to win for Sebastian Ajo as he finds the game at Chatfield. Looks back to Spetrikov. Lose the effort. Got punched out. Chatfield. Looks to Ajo shot. Club set it. Demko holds that puck in with just under 15.30 to go. And they're off to the next face off. Now they're off to do it again. The win for Pedersen. And Freeman will have it here away to pass over to Suter. Big on wraparound take. Unable to control the puck and he will have it again to Jesper Fats. Finds Nosen and he is making his way in the attacking zone. The Kakanami, what a stop! How did he stop that one as Demko makes another save? This one doesn't really make the change out of it. The difference is, this one really can't believe how that really have gotten into a brutal kick. You know, I always think of it had this happened right at this moment. They're really expecting that playing hard, not always a chance at probability that they do. I can't even just say what they were going to try to keep on going for. They really are starting to go squirting all over now to try to make him win. There's a chance now to Hollander. For the corner, Burns with a buck steal. And he will try to clear that one out of here and right behind the wall. Here's Hughes with a chance at first. Now the Canucks will bring their sitter back into the king zone. Here's a chance of Hughes and stop by Kochikov. Lost the effort and now it goes back again to Drury. Chance of play to Burns. Give a good look, Simon open look, and it's where it's been redirected. Able to take one, and a save puts up by Demko. 14 minutes left in the third period. Still look like they wanted to have some a lot of time to try to step it up again. There's no other questions at that point. How can they just try to slow that down? They need to choose something different. The pass back to Veshki. Ducks it out. Good poke check here for the Canucks defender. And now he finds it over to Bunny. Ball out of zone. Here comes HX. Look and move. And this one makes a great save by Demko. Now that was a really a little bad mistake out there. I was not even sure what was going to happen. That one really kept it out of here for on a clean hit. There's no other way. That puts it up here with a breakaway on a defensive chain. That's going to like take it over by anyone else. This Teravine now has it over again to Pesky. Pesky shoots. Hit stop by Demko. We're nearing the back half of the period in the third. Carolina up ahead by two. And a take to Svechikov. Skilled up charge must be making his way with his lacrosse move. That's why Andrew Svechikov is really picking up over his better takeover offensive effort. This may be the takeover there, guys, but there might be a key to have it all. Now they're ready to do the next faceoff. Carolina up by two. Looks like Carolina really wants to have it shut down in this first game. Otto wins the faceoff as Speshi loses the puck effort, and this one will keep the range out of here. And now it's rolling over. Back to Miller, and now racing in. Chance to play to Mikhail. Save play by Kochikov. Now finding Sketchy. Sketchy right to the right wing. Links it around. And Otto didn't really have it all. Pass to Svechikov. Looks it over now, finding Chatfield. 
Looks again to Orlov. Orlov trying to get right into, into the over uh, key position. This one broken up again. And Besser right over to her left. Ago tries to keep that puck out of the zone. He will clear that out of here. Barnett's got that puck here, now in the, in the Canuck zone. Chaffee finding Orlov. Orlov gives it again to Jarvis. Great puck movement for Carolina. And Pakulski knocks it out. He's on his way down. Finding the door off. Pyros it. Misses wide. Lindholm gives it again to Zadora, and Julesen with the chance, and this one poked it up here too soon. Well, cleared out of the zone, and he got a little tired defense out there. This will be an icing on Carolina. Got to take some settle down at this point. Now the teams are set, ready for the next faceoff. Carolina still been a better team here to look for her champions this time. It is a 6-4 game in game one. The deep pass to Martineau. Martin a right over toward the right wing. Slows it down. Fires it. No deflection given in here. Orloff now back to Martin. Try to get over with the attacking change. Orloff finding Drewy. And this one will poke out. Sugar's got that one puck in. He has that pack in over. The pass is broken up. Lost control of the effort. Now it's Quinn Hughes as Pedersen will have it in right toward the corner. Same play. Here's Sheffield. Now pass it over again to Blaney. But he gets it again to Drury. Drury will fire that one right around the net. Orla didn't just on a chance. This one rebounds it. And Orla shot off the pad by Demko. They really are just going to like keep that going in there. That batter, take a look, is just not always what the easy is. You know, how that happened is that it doesn't really turn to be like you're going to get that one out of the way. But I see what Defco is seeing. They really are trying to step that one out of here. The better take over, I don't know what's going to keep on coming out. They're going to make, really make sure they got to keep passing it quickly before someone gets out of the way. Yeah, bunny shot. Sighted by Demko. Demko's going to hold it up with under 9-3 remaining in the third of the regulation. Now the teams are ready to take the face off. Six fours is score. Miller wins the face off. And this one will give back to Hughes and he gets again to Rorodic. Rorodic now tries to give over to Mikheyev. Here's Mikheyev right again to Besser. Besser gives a good look over on a pass on a fan angle. Right toward the corner of the net has been stopped. And Slavin hit the deep pass to Nozin. A play and play for Kakenemi. Now rolls it over to Natchez, and Slavin has it. Defended it up. Tries to watch a group. Miller with the puck seal. Miller finding it over. And here's a running. The pass over, and Slavin will clear the puck out. Icing whistled on Carolina with 8-3 to go. Well, pretty much they don't want to just do this again. I think they need to just try to reset it up. Let's say what they could do here if they could try to fix, fix things up a little bit. Offense and defense are really trying to like be able to answer it all. But there may not be anybody that might try to do it again. Here's Fast. Fast with the cutting down. Saved by Demko. Demko will hold it here with just able 14 to go in the third. And now they're off to the next faceoff. Carolina still trying to like keep up with the faceoff wins, but Vancouver's up ahead. Now they're up by two with the faceoff win. Miller will try to handle it over now, finding Mikheyev. And this one will leave, leave out of his own. This one goes back to Cole. Cole swinging over to Miller. And hooked it up. Recovered by Messer. Besser with a nice cut and bound to go right through here to net. Recent crash though, looks again to Marlander. Off the blocker stop made here by Punchikov. And Freeman will have it out. Keeping it out of the zone and he will now find a Hoglander. Hoglander takes it out. And this will be prepping again to Sketchy. And Peschke. Here's Abo right toward for a right wing. And Cole will have it back. The takeover now finds Pedersen. 
Three on one opportunity. Suter with a chance. This one's not. Save on the play. What a great stop by the goaltender. This really needs to mention that, Coach Akon. It's really like taking over the better hits. And their chances are they don't have the fight to do anything with that until they do it for now. It is cool. Only seven minutes remaining in the third. Both it out. Marna lost the effort. Shot stopped by Coach Akon. 6.21 remaining in the third period. Looks like they wanted to have a close game effort, but there might be a lot of chances to get right toward the zone. Carolina wins the faceoff, and now he rolls it over again to Marina. Rolls right around the net, and Jarvis trying to pick up a battle with the loose chain. And Quinn Hughes will now have it again to Sewer. Sewer now finds Hoglander. Up back and beyond, back to Carolina. And Martinuk will now have the pass after. Oh, what a great chance for Patterson, but this is stopped by Kuchikov. You know, you see what doesn't really mention what they were doing, but that is just how they're playing it like that. And all that real takeover is just not what they were expecting to do, like playing it for real. All that happens now is just like, no way they're not going to play it like that like they did. And this needs to be a closer way to get right through it. It is true, and he, now he finds it over, and he will fire that one, that pass to that out. Icing is whistled out. Now it's Natchez. Recovered it. Here's a chance in the backhand shot. Saved by Dubko. Drury now finds again to Natchez. Natchez over now to Slavin. Slavin to Burns. Shot, plus save. What a chance hit for Burns, but it's stopped by Dubko. They're in a five minute mark in the third. As right now, they're off to do the next face-off. And it's another win for the Demko team. Rodick now finding it again to Hughes. Hughes a chance down to Bacolse. Smashes up in the center ice. This goes back to Hughes. And now Garland will have it again to Lindholm. Lindholm. Chance effort in play. Good poke check here by Otto. Kicks the puck out of the zone and back in the Canuck zone. Carolina back in the attacking zone. On a chance of play, Carolina in with the rebounding puck. And Slavin gives again to Burns. Burns can't take the effort off a stick. Here's Garland with the chance play. Makes a hit and a rebound picked up by Burns. Carolina now finds again to Drury. Drury. Looks it over again to Terrelina. Great puck moment out there. Oh, he's trying to say, give me a pack. Here comes Suter. Chance at one. Same play. He scores. What a chance for Suter. And that's when no one has ever seen what he does. That's when he can go to say Suter. That's how I flip it back. Now, I never see no one coming in, but that's what happens to Suter. This one's really just trying to pick up him. When you can just come in there right now, you bring in a timer, that might stop, but he's never going to get that one back. That's what happened to Sue. He just made that one go back the other way, get that goal in front, go down by one. They're going to let that one go right in there between the zones. It's going to be a hard takeover, but nobody is able to take that one out ever again, but they're going to keep it going. Well, that must be a close game ever. I think there might be one way to get through it. Who's sketchy? Chance in play, not funny buddy. And this one will knock out. Hoglander going for a takeover! Oh, he just did not want to take his fast break. That stopped by Kuchikov. Oh, I don't know what's going to keep on happening. I thought they are going to tie this up, but they didn't see me do it now. Now the next face off is on. Carolina down by one. Looking for a tie game. Just passing a three minute mark. And a win for JT Miller. Freeman shoots, misses. And Skaji will have it again to Saul. Saul finding Marna. Here's a chance in play. And this one's knocked out. Marna with a shot. Misses. Ashley will now try to get that puck in. He will try to let Slavin do the job. And Stahl now finding Besky. Pass in play to Marna. Chance in front to Saul. 
Ashley Vitenko. Takes it overway. Ashley shot. Denies it. Trying to get right into the work. Open lift to slap and shoots it for a redirection here. Jarvis shot. Oh, it just hit off the goal post. That was so close out there. Not even what they're expecting now. And look at this in place. They're just going to let that one keep on going in. I know what's going to happen now. That Demko is making a wild save out there. But the time is just coming down here. We're just losing a time effort. They're going to need to try and do something else to get there instead. Block leads the zone. Coming down to a 90 seconds in the third. Vancouver trying to let them go back in. Tara Vine for a chance. Saved by Timko. For two. Off the clock. Back over to Orla. And it's Paul with the puck. Coming down to a final minute. And this one is going to be a close game in between. A chance to tie. Orla blocks a shot. Now finds Bunny. Bunny trying to go for four. He now has it again at Chatfield. Shot off again. And Verona will decide to give an extra skater on with the last chance effort. Here's Hughes. That pass is broken up. And, and Drury will now fire it out of here. And this will be icing. Not a chance. Hughes. 30 seconds left to remain in the third. Lindholm. Give again to Garland. Garland looks to Lindholm. Shoots. Saved by Kuchikov. And a chance out of money for four. And it's over. End of game one as Bunny brings their team to win the first game. Now you say, now you don't. Michael Bunny with four goals in the finals. You know, I'd really love the effort that happened to be a backhander and try to, like, keep it out. But that range, never seen that come for Chatfield. And this one has been turning to be broken in for Bunny. It's a great effort out there. That's what happens for Michael Bunning after a champ in with a great goal. What a play effort, and I really love his effortability to make a chance effort. This one is putting up a great way, and it won't have to stop. They won't improve how their goals are, but that is just how they played really well. And he will fire that out. And an icy whistle on, on Carolina, and that will be it for the first game. Well, it's been a nice one, and hopefully, at this end, has already been pushing. And that should do. Carolina wins the first game in the finals, beats, Car beats the Canadian team at the Canucks. All the big effort that put up for Kuchikov, he's really been knocking it over here. Yes, that's definitely what they all say for now, but that's what Kuchikov has been really thinking it in there. There might be another way, and there will be more room for tomorrow's night's game. For the next game, it's going to happen again. That's your team here, folks. Along with me, me Farm, and with Roy Cruz and Silver Spoon, along with Fan, thanks for joining us for the Stanley Cup Finals. See you next time. All right, thank you so much. Time for three star players of the game. Svetchikov with two goals and three hits. Then it's Hoglander with two goals and six hits with the second star on his big rebound, taking the third period, had done it all. And your first star player of the game, Michael Bunning, with four goals and two hits. Just made that one clear that he had an all finishing on his best chance for three goals in his half trick. And that's why I really say now, Michael Bunning does it all. Here he did with the total statistics, 61 total shots on goal over 52 for Carolina. 72 hits over 45 for Vancouver. 1207 over 431 for Carolina time on attack. 89 over 75 for the passing on Vancouver. And it was 32 face off wins over Carolina 29. Both teams received a four minute penalty kill right in between the two. And there are no power play goals with only two 13 power play minutes. So that's it for game one. If you really like this video, consider yourself by leaving a like button, hit the subscribe channel, and follow me on my social media. I'm on X, you can check it out. Anyway, that's it for now. Peace out for a while as the Stanley Cup Final of the Canes and Canucks on EA Sports. Stay tuned for game two. We will have you on your way shortly to keep your eyes on the next coming days. In the meantime, 
That's it for now. Good night in Vancouver. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.